everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a glimpse of my life as a business analyst and what it is that I do. So please stick around as I'll talk a little bit more about what it means to be a business analyst, some of the key roles and responsibilities, as well as what it takes to become a great business analyst towards the end of the video. So hope you enjoy it. conversation by talking about what it is that business analysts actually do. So in my mind, I think of business analysts as creative problem solvers. And that's because um, they help companies reach their goals by first understanding what the problems or challenges are today. Second, they gather requirements by talking to the business about what the current processes are. And lastly, they come up with the best course of action or recommendation based on business constraints. And the best course of action, of course, has to address the problem that they've identified in the first phase. My life as a business analyst revolves around projects and systems. My role specifically involves using or implementing um, new systems as I'm a systems business analyst. So there are two major types of um, business analysts. So there's the external and internal business analysts. So external business analysts tend to be contractors. So for the duration of the project or contracts, they come in and help the organizations. And once uh, solutions have been implemented, uh, they tend to leave the organization. Whereas internal business analysts tend to stay within the organization, they can work with multiple stakeholders from different departments on a needs basis as well, but they are treated like regular employees within the organization and they don't have to leave the organization once the project is complete. They tend to hop around and move from one project to, to the next one, but those are the two major different types of business analysts. And personally, I've actually worked as both uh, both types of business analysts. In my past role uh, as a implementation consultant at a software company, I used to um, visit client sites on a needs basis in order to help them implement new software applications and to provide training and to help with the um, you know, implementation of the project. And I was only there for the specific duration of time. Uh, whereas I um, currently, I'm actually working as an internal business analyst for an organization, specifically with an HR department. So my job involves uh, various types of um, projects within HR domain. There are three key roles of business analysts. First of all, Gathering requirements. As I mentioned before, business analysts are responsible for gathering and, and understanding the business requirements. And for me, this is often the most painful or <laughs> the process that takes the longest time because you have to really uh, understand and ask questions so that business can elaborate on what their business processes are. A lot of the times when you go and ask somebody, what is your current business process? 
they don't really know because they don't even think about what it is that they do on a day-to-day -day basis until somebody asks questions. So sometimes you just have to uh, job shadow them, you have to ask them questions, you have to really make business think about their processes because a lot of the times people have been doing this job for years and years and they don't really think about what are the implications, what are the next steps, um, because they already know it's, it's more of like a habit. So it's very hard for external business analysts to come in and try to analyze the business processes, especially if they're not familiar with the industry or with the standards, um, because every company has a different business process, right? So that is the first job or the main role of business analyst. The second one is acting as a key translator or uh, the facilitator between the business and the solution providers. So this could be um, technical teams who are building products, this could be manufacturers, vendors, or uh, IT teams. So basically depending on what, what the scope of the project is and what the problems that you're trying to solve are, you have to be the middle person between business and the solution providers. So for me, because I'm a business systems analyst, most of my solutions involve making changes to the current system. So it could be uh, SAP solution, uh, it could be other types of solutions. So basically throughout the project life cycle, we have to, once we identify the business needs and what the business requirements are, then I have to be involved in the process of communicating what that new change is going to look like. I have to document what the current business processes are as well as what the future process might look like. And I have to also act as a key liaison between the business and the, and the solution providers. So lastly, the third key role of business analysts includes brainstorming a list of solutions that they can propose to the business um, because now that they have a better understanding of what the problem is and they've gone through the process of understanding uh, the business process as well as what the constraints are, the best BAs tend to be more creative and they try to think outside the box and uh, come up with a list of different pro uh, proposed solutions for the business to take a look. So the key role of BA is to really help and guide the business to make the right decision at the end of the day. And you have to remember that business has to take ownership of their processes, um, whether or not that they're going to make the changes that you've proposed. So uh, that's the key role uh, in my mind of business analyst because at the end of the day, you can make the best recommendation, but if it's not feasible to the business, if they are not, you know, if they're not embracing the change, then it's unlikely going to have any impact on the organization. So you have to think about the feasibility studies, you have to think about whether or not it's, it's going to um, actually bring about the changes and solve the problem that they're trying to fix. Now that you guys have a better understanding of different types of business analysts and what their key roles are, let's talk about what it takes to become a great business analyst. So over the years, I've had the privilege of working with many BAs, depending on the size of the project and the nature of the implementation. But the best BAs that I've worked with have some of the common characteristics that I've noticed. So first of all, they have very great interpersonal or excellent communication skills. So they're able to easily um, talk to people, uh, build relationship with clients in order to build that trust and momentum. And they're able to communicate their thoughts or opinions or questions in a very clear manner. Secondly, I've also noticed that they're very quick learner and this is very important because sometimes they have to understand the business processes before they can even contemplate thinking about the solution so they have to understand what the problems are and you know they have to understand the business processes in order to come up with the optimal solution so they are uh, very analytical they are able to look at things more holistically um, but they are a very quick learner
Last but not least, familiarity with the sof software application or tools is especially important for systems business analysts like myself. So as I mentioned before, if you don't have the system expertise or uh, software application, it's really hard to uh, give uh, recommendations or solutions to business problems or business processes. So for myself, I have to have a pretty good understanding of what the functionality, what the system is capable of handling in order to provide the feedback to the business so then they can think about how they can change their business processes given those system constraints. So if you're a systems analyst or if you are working in a more, if you're interested in working in a more technical um, part of business analysis, then you have to have a pretty good grasp and understanding of those software applications that you're trying to implement or trying to change. To sum it up, in today's video, we talked about different types of business analysts, some of the key roles and responsibilities of business analysts and what it takes to become a great business analyst. If you'd like to learn more about becoming a business analyst or have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos if you'd like to see more contents like this. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!